How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a bit of a special video. This was sent in by a subscriber. And not just any subscriber, this was one of my first. They gave me their GameCube to fix it. As you can see, the tray, the tray will not stay closed. Now this is a bit of a simple fix. So let's get right into the video, open this up and show you how to fix this problem. For starters, the GameCube uses what's called a game bit. So if you don't have one of these, you will need to get one. They're really cheap off of Amazon. So let's go ahead and take off the four screws. There's only four right here on the bottom. Looks like these covers are missing. Let me know down in the comments below. Do, do I do this more often? Should I? Should I service my subscribers' consoles? I mean, that'd be kind of neat, huh? All right, let me know if that's something that would interest you guys, the audience. So I'm using a magnet just to get down in there and pull the screws out. Again, I mentioned this in every video, you don't need this magnet, it just makes my life easier. Now, when we flip this over, just make sure you got a good hold on everything because it will come right off. And there we go. Holy smokes, would you get a look at that? This has seen better days. Maybe, maybe we should surprise this subscriber and give it a quick cleaning. It needs a little TLC. I mean, what do you think? We're gonna set it to the side and we're gonna flip this around. And here is where the problem lies. This eject button is stuck. Here's the eject button. It's stuck. Why? Because it's more than likely dirty. If I push on that just lightly, if I push it back, it will stay closed. And the problem is these buttons just get so dirty that they don't retract because they're covered in sand, dirt, dust, I mean, who knows what's inside people's houses, am I right? So let's go ahead and take ourselves a Phillips head screwdriver and we're going to remove these screws right here. Now I like to lay the screws out in the order they were taken out. So you want to be a little careful here because this has a spring and you don't want to lose it. There we go. I'm going to leave it just like that. Just use caution taking it out. Now if you look carefully, Right here and here are two tabs. In order to take this off, we need to pinch the two tabs together just gently. Doesn't require a lot of force. And just push on it. You may have to encourage it once it gets to a certain point where you can't reach it. And the eject button will just come right out. And there you go. Look at all that dirt. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yummy. Yeah, look at that. That's the culprit right there. So I grabbed myself a Q-tip and a bit of Windex. All I did was place a little bit of Windex on the Q-tip and we're just going to clean this area out. You don't need a crazy amount, just enough to clean it up. Okay, I mean, look at that already. That was dirty. So what I like to do is only use one side of my Q-tip to clean. The other side is to dry and kind of pick up any residual dirt left over. And I mean, look at the difference already. There's no more dirt, there's no more dust, no grime, nothing. We're gonna repeat the same process on this right here, but let me grab a fresh Q-tip. I don't like to reuse the same Q-tip I can help it. 
That way I'm not spreading the dirt around to different parts of consoles that I work on. Okay, now we got to do the outside because this is the edge. The edge of the, or the outer part of the button is what rubs up and down the plastic here. So anything that gets in the way will get caught and cause that button to get stuck. Now it is looking much better than before, but I see the button has suffered some damage from the dirt that was in there. And I can feel it. It's rough. The surface is rough. So we may have to use some sandpaper and sand it back down to get a smooth finish. So let me grab some sandpaper. The finest one that I have is a 400 grit sandpaper. What I'm gonna do is just very lightly pass the side walls of this button along the paper just to smooth out any rough edges that would cause the button to get stuck. And feel for it. It's already feeling much better, definitely smoother than before. Now, as you can see, it looks scuffed up, but it's actually a lot smoother than it was before. So what we're going to do is pop this button back on and give it a test and see if this is enough or if we have to sand it down just a tad bit more. Now, I do have to mention, typically you don't have to sand this down, but because this was actually pretty bad in this case, I went ahead and did it anyways. When we put it back, don't worry. It only goes in one way. So we're going to put this back on. Uh, you, there you go. So you can see this piece of the spring does need to pass through the hole. So we're going to place this back in. We're going to provide a little bit of tension back on here. And just slide it right back in place. No problem. We'll go ahead and place our Phillips head screws back where they belong. You don't have to go crazy tight on these. Just remember it is plastic, so be careful. Even snug in it could potentially break it. You have to remember these are older consoles. They've been around a long time. So we may have to make a bit of an adjustment here. Don't wanna get this, this one here too tight. Okay, I think that's tight enough. So let's go ahead and test. Push. Oh, look at that. Let's do it again. Oh my goodness gracious. It is really that simple. I could do this all day. No, no, not really. I'm just kidding. But you get the idea. That fixed this button right here. So now the eject button works, keeps the tray closed, and then you can go on and play your games. However, we have here the reset button and the power button. Those are both stuck as well. So we're gonna repeat the process and see if we can get those unstuck. Once again. Once again, there are two clips that are holding the button in place. If you squeeze them together just enough so that it slides down and then there will come a point where you can't push it any further and you'll just go ahead and finesse it with something small enough and it should just pop right out like so I'm not sure if you caught that on camera I'm sorry but there you go once again this one seems to have suffered some scratches of whatever was in there so I'm gonna go ahead sand this one down give it a Give it a quick cleaning because there is some dirt in there and then we'll put it back together and give it a test as you can see off camera i went ahead and sanded it down it is smoother than it was before i also cleaned this area as well we'll go ahead and place this one back in doesn't matter which way you put it it's going to go in any it's going to go in any direction that you put it in just go ahead and line it up and push it right in there and I'll go ahead and demonstrate. As you can see, I am effortlessly pushing that button and it is going up and down just fine. 
The nice thing is with the GameCube, I can just slide this back on without having to put any of the screws and you'll see the button goes right back up. Isn't that nice? Eject and the reset. So we're gonna go ahead and work on the power button next. I'll place this back. The power button, the power button is right here. Once again, you just pinch these two tabs inward, gently. Use something to encourage the rest of the way because your fingers cannot fit through these tiny holes. And just push on the button until it comes right out. So look at, oh yeah. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. It looks like this was well loved and there is nothing wrong with that. We're gonna go ahead and clean this off. We're gonna go ahead and clean this off camera and cut back to testing it out. No surprise that this is looking much better than it did before. And luckily it did not have any valley, so I did not have to sand this one down. I also went ahead and cleaned this one up. We're gonna go ahead and pop this power button back on. Once again, it goes in either way. It's not like the eject button. And as you can see, I am effortlessly pressing that button and it is sliding up and down with ease. We can go ahead and test by placing the cover back on and pressing the power button with no problem. Reset button, no problem. And of course, the eject button, no problem. To my subscriber, Alex, thank you so much for sending this in and giving me the opportunity to fix this up for you. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick cleaning for you as well, bud. I appreciate you sending this in once again. If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, leave a like. It really helps the channel. It helps me understand what my audience likes and doesn't like. And if you want, leave a comment down below because I respond to all my comments. And I will catch y'all in the next video.